Hello everyone, this is Sai Nihantwanam. I'll be presenting today on non-Euclidean spaces. Let's get started. So the algorithm is used for uh, clustering in non-Euclidean spaces uh, is referred to as GRGPF for its uh, authors. This algorithm also handles non-main memory data, but does not require a Euclidean space. Uh, it takes ideas from both hierarchical and point assignment approaches. This algorithm is of the point assignment type and handles data that is too big to fit in main memory. Uh, let's get to the next slide. Representing clusters in GRGPF algorithm. So a cluster is represented by uh, the counts of both in, in the clusters called cl clusteroid. The nearby points uh, allow us to change the clusteroid if the cluster evolves and the distant points allow for merging clusters efficiently in appropriate circumstances. For each of these points, we also record the row sum, that is the square of sum of uh, squares of the distances from the point to all other points of the cluster. And we estimate that value with the equation, which we'll be seeing in the next upcoming slides. The organization of clusters in GRGPF algorithm. So initialize, initialize the cluster tree by adding clusters into uh, a tree hierarchy and then add points in algorithm. After initializing clusters from a sample of points, we insert each point into the cluster with the nearest clusteroid. Uh, then we look at the samples of clusteroids of each of the children of the root. Uh, whichever child has the clusteroid closest to the new point uh, P, and that is a node we examine next. Uh, processing points in the algorithm. Because of the tree structure, we can start at the root and choose to visit the child within the sample clusteroid nearest to the given point. Following this rule down, one path in the trees leads us to a leaf where we insert the point into the cluster with the nearest clusteroid on the leaf. Uh, so this is the row estimate of point P in case P needs to be part of the representation. Uh, so uh, row sum of P equals to row sum of C plus N times distance between P point P and C. Uh, note that N and row sum of C in this formulas are, are the values of these features before they are adjusted to account for the addition of P. Um, I have a question here. Uh, why cannot k-means clustering be used in non-Euclidean space? Uh, Euclidean space uses multivariate mean and is all about Euclidean distances. Non-Euclidean distances will generally not span Euclidean space and that's the reason why k-means is for Euclidean distances only. Thank you.